Bon dia, mi amigos. All right, so I want to show you something here that I find particularly interesting, and that is uh, a comment I left on a video. I am titled Bible Study The Millennial Reign of Christ Revelation 20 by Talmadge Miller Jr. and the question I ask him is will there be children born after Jesus returns and Talmadge Miller Jr. 6430 says yes when Jesus returns to earth all who have died in Christ will return to earth with him. We will rule and reign under his authority. There will still be millions of people on the earth who have survived through the tribulation. And they will have children and descendants as well. The world will still continue, but the nature of all things will change. Men will live hundreds of years again, as God allowed during the Genesis period, and men will continue to multiply on the earth. Alright, so uh, let's break this down a little bit here. Alright, first of all I want to show you the spirit of error, and then I want to show you the spirit of truth. First John chapter 4 verse 6, we are of God. He that knows God hears us. He that is not of God hears not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Alright, so first of all, Uh, maybe it, let me do one more. Let me do one more verse here. Maybe I'll do two more things here. First Thessalonians five verse twenty one: Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And of course, study. To, um, oh, I don't, I don't remember how this study to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Second Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, so let's examine this. Maybe I go one more. Maybe I go one more. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. Ecclesiastes 12.13. Alright so back to this comment. Yes, when Jesus returns to earth, all who have died in Christ will return to earth with him. So now, that right there is contrary to what the Bible says, contrary to what God says. It is contrary to the Word of God. Let me repeat what he says. When Jesus returns to earth. All who have died in Christ will return to earth with him. Alright, and so let's go to Daniel 12. No, I, I don't know where I'm at here. I don't know where I'm at here. Somewhere in the Bible it says many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now, 
compare that with what he says. He says that when Jesus returns, that they will return to earth with him. But Daniel says, Daniel writes, many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Quite the opposite. In his scenario, he's got the dead in Christ up in heaven. In Daniel's scenario, he's got the dead in Christ in the dust of the earth. <clears throat> right, that's quite the opposite, isn't it? It's, it's like he's teaching a different religion, isn't it? I mean, if that's not enough, let's go to another one. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. In Miller's scenario, people descend from heaven when Jesus returns. In Paul's writings in 1 Thessalonians 4, we rise it's the opposite of what Miller says. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And again, Daniel chapter 12. Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting, to shame and everlasting contempt. Let's go one more. Let's go one more. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, not lowered, but raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And furthermore, what's interesting is when this happens, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. And keep that in mind. Miller continues, he says, We will rule and reign under his authority. There will still be millions of people on the earth who have survived through the tribulation. And they will have children as well. Millions of people will still be alive and having children. And their children will be having children. According to Miller. But what's the Bible say? Now think about this. Matthew 24. Let's go, let's go three places here. Matthew 24. Let's go to Luke 21. Let's go to... Revelation 1. All right. Matthew 24 says when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, all the tribes of the earth will mourn. Now, why would they mourn? Because they're going to still live, according to Miller. They're still going to be living. And then... Some magically, God's going to let them live hundreds of years. Why would they mourn? They can continue to have sex. And not only that, they'll be able to have sex for a lot longer than what people are having now. They'll be able to live hundreds of years and have sex. It's interesting. Uh, before I continue to Luke... He says, uh, here, somewhere, I thought, right there, yeah, men will live hundreds of years again as God allowed during the Genesis period. 
So God's going to allow men to live hundreds of years just like he did in the Genesis period. All right, let's take a look at the Genesis period. Right, in the Genesis period, it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Ah, there we go. Huh? That's, that's, what he, that's the whole reason behind this teaching by Talmadge Miller, Jr., 6430. He's putting his hope. I mean, what a glorious time, right? These guys were taking wives of all which they chose. They would have multiple wives. Huh? So he's putting his hope into this idea that when Jesus returns, then he will be able to have many wives right he'll be able to live hundreds of years just like it was in the times and the days of Noah right let's go to Luke consider this when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven men's hearts will be failing them for fear why why would men why would men be having heart attacks? Why would men's hearts be failing them for fear? If God is going to now allow them to live hundreds of years and to have as many wives as they want. Doesn't make sense, does it? Let's go to Revelation chapter 1. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. Again, why? Why would all the kindreds of the earth wail? And they're not just mourning and having heart attacks, they're wailing. Wailing. Do you know what that means? It's insufferable pain that these guys are going to face because because they're going to be allowed to live a hundred years, nine hundred years, and and have sex for for eight hundred and fifty years, and they're going to be able to take as many wives as they want. Is that why they're wailing? No. Regardless of what men say. When Jesus comes in the clouds of, of heaven, they know, you're going to know, we're all going to know, it's the end of this world. It's judgment day. It's the great and terrible day of the Lord. There's not going to be any confusion about it. Not going to be any doubting about it, no mistake about it whatsoever. It's the end of the world. And it's, it's quite interesting, because in Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, they all uh, give examples of Jesus saying, hey, when I come in the clouds of heaven, it's the end of the world. You know, he's asked specifically, what is the sign of thy coming of the end of the world? And it's when he comes in the clouds of heaven. It's That's the end of the world. He plainly says it. Plainly says it. And these guys, they don't want to believe it. They want to believe that when Jesus comes, they'll be allowed to live much longer and have wives of all which they choose. 